guys, so I've already done my base as you guys can see. I did bronzer, foundation, powder, everything like that. Even even did my brows. But I thought I'd just do an eye tutorial for you guys today for this Christmas like makeup look just because I've done a few base tutorials already. I thought it'd kind of get a bit boring using the same product, so I thought I'd just quickly speed and do the eyes, and then I'll do like blush, a highlight, lipstick, everything like that at the end for you guys. But basically, yeah, foundation, all that's done. I'll link a video up above if you guys would like to see my foundation routine. Otherwise, yeah, let's get straight into the eyes. Ooh, it's gonna be a good one today. What today? What was that? Oh my god, I don't even know. Let's get up in my grill. Is that too bright? I hope not. So I'm feeling like doing a green like, smoky eye today just because of the Christmas vibes, Christmas tree, holly, all that jazz. I thought I'd do a green uh, smoky eye and I haven't done like, I don't know, like a multicolored green smoky eye before. So I thought I would <laughs> jump on the bandwagon and do that for Christmas. I mean like, <laughs> super original, right? Plus, like, I was just being, like, super inspired with, like, um, this green right here, the deep colours over here, like, and also, I really want to use my Epic Shade from Makeup Geek, this green one right here. So, yeah, we'll just see how we go with this eye look. Hopefully it turns out nice. Fingers crossed. So, do I want to use a green base? Do I? Do I? Do I? No, I think I'll just do your average Joe eye base. So you can use concealer. I'm just going to go in with an eye cream base. I'm using my MAC uh, Soft Over Paint Pot. And using this as my eye primer. And I'm just wham, bam, taking and hamming it all over the lids. Um, all the way up to the brow bone. And I'm also bringing it into the inner corners as well. Just so that the whole area is primed so that the pigment really shows up when we do those eyeshadows. For the crease colour, I'm going to grab a nice fluffy brush and the shade is uh, shadows. Um, made for each other and silk cream. These are nice two like neutral brown shades, perfect to create a transition in the crease. And I'm just gonna buff them in and out through the upper crease area, creating a nice smoky rounded shape to the eye. I like to raise my eyebrows up so that I get that brush fitted right in the area I want it to be. Rather than having your eyes relaxed and the shadow kind of just buffing everywhere, if you raise it and create a nice tight surface, you're going to get more accurate placement of that shadow and a more uh, smoother blend as well. And repeat, deepest part of the shadow on the outer portion of the eye, blend it through the crease, and then with whatever is left on the bristles, bring it through the inner crease area. Like so, oh, you know what would also be such a pretty Christmas look? It's like a deep, whiny, kind of cranberry, smoky eye. Oh, oh my god, that'd be so pretty. If you guys want to see a cranberry, like, Christmas-themed smoky eye, let me know. Actually, thank you for also suggesting um, videos for my next few tutorials down below in the comment section. In my recent videos, I really appreciate your interaction and feedback and your suggestions as well like I just love reading your comments so I want to say a thank you for that it's been really nice having you guys comment such beautiful things about my videos it always gives me a big smile on my face now I've got like a little blend through the crease there's a little bit of like a hint of a shadow there I want to move on with the greens now that we've got a kind of transition base there we can move on to the colours which is the exciting part let's be real so Oh, do I want to do one more deeper shade? Yeah. Yeah, we'll do one more deeper shade just because I feel like that'll just keep a really seamless smoky eye. I mean, it's Christmas, we're going for seamless. So, I think I might take a couple shades. I'm going to take, I think it's Pukey, and we're going to mix that in with Puta. And on that same fluffy brush, I'm going to place them in the crease just to deepen it up and the foam slightly. And I'm just keeping the very tip of the bristles um, touching the crease so that that placement of the product is quite pinpoint rather than just smooshing my brush into the crease and making the product go everywhere. I like to keep a light hand to so hold the bottom of the brush 
and just let that product work into the outer crease area. I haven't brought it in towards my inner corner. I just kept this shade on the outer portion. About two thirds of the way across is where I've brought it. And as I'm placing the product in the crease, I'm looking down at my mirror so that I get that pinpoint precision where I place that product. And then I'm just kind of dragging whatever's left on the brush slightly above that crease area on the outer portion of the eye, just on the outer portion, just to kind of blend it a bit further and just kind of create the eye shape I want. I'm going for like kind of an elongated round eye, I don't know, that kind of shape. But I don't go past the outer corner of my eye, I want to keep it lifted towards the brow, so I always try and make sure not to drag the shadows down past the corner of the oink. And then just taking some of Made For Each Other and Silk Cream again and I'm just going around those edges of Pukey and Puta, I think that was what it was called. And just buffing out those edges and also bringing it in towards the inner socket area. Just to deepen it up a little bit. Just like that. So it's nice, a bit more smoky, a bit deeper, got a bit of an eye shape going, the whole shebang. Next, taking a soft definer brush, don't mind the fact that it's like super super dirty. I'm going to grab a green shade now from the palette. I'm thinking of taking Enchanted from the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette on that soft definer brush. Just a little bit more stiffer far than the fluffy brush, so it's going to create more precision in the crease than the other one would. Just a little bit, not too much. Not too much precision, but just a little bit. And Jen's going to place it in the outer crease area and outer V so right smack bam on the outer portion of the eye mmm yummy this is such a pretty colour you can see the most pigmented part of the eye is where I first initially placed that product down and then I'm just slightly blending it out using very very light pressure and just working it using little windscreen wiper motions through the outer crease area. It's harder working with colour so you always want to apply a little bit at a time and build up. Because you can always build up more, you can't take away once it's there, it's a lot harder. So just work slowly, a bit at a time. So again looking down at your mirror so you can see where the brush, like the brush bristles are actually sitting in your crease and it allows it to kind of keep in a focused area rather than get blended up too high and you're like, ah oh, crap, now I've got to try and blend it out. And then on that initial fluffy brush, taking Pukey and then a little bit of that Puta shade, I'm just going to soften the edges. And then same brush, just wiping it off in a towel, I'm going to grab some of Made For Each Other and Silk Cream and then just soften the edges of Pukey and Puta. Oh honey, that is nice. And just going back and just dabbing a bit of that enchanted shade to deepen it up a little bit in case it got blended away slightly. Then for like the lid shade, I want to kind of do like a soft cut crease look with this smoky eye. So I'm going to grab a stiff shader brush. This is from Morphe, it's the MB16 brush. And I'm dipping into Diva from the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. I'm just going to start placing this on the inner third of my eye. So I've brought it up to where that deep enchanted shade is because we're going to place Epic kind of in between to just mesh the shimmer into the mat. So I just coat that whole lid in it so it's nice and opaque. Oh, this is such a nice colour. Oh my god, I actually love this eye look so much. <gasps> Next I'm grabbing Epic from Makeup Geek, it's just a single eyeshadow, gorgeous deep kind of foresty green. And I'm going to place that on the outer edge of Diva and like Enchanted, so just where those two shadows meet. I don't know if you can see the beautiful transition from that like silvery tone green into that Enchanted shade into, sorry, into the deep, um, Epic shade into the Enchanted shade. It's really nice. I think I might bring back some of that enchanted shade too because it has gotten a bit blended away. I want that outer portion of the eye to be super dark. So I think I might just 
skip liner today, keep it smoky eye, real like cute and sultry and sexy, and then I might do like a highlight, a brow bone highlight, inner corner highlight, all that jazz. But I do feel like I might do mascara first. Mascara and lashes, let's do that. So I applied mascara on. You guys don't need to watch me apply mascara, it's like super boring. I just use the Colossal um, mascara from Maybelline. Um, for lashes, I want to use one of my Attitude ones. I'm feeling like I'm going to go in with Feisty or Sultry. Like, those two is like the kind of ones I'm bouncing off right now. So I'll try them on, see which one I like, come back with them on, and I'll tell you which ones I ended up choosing because I'm a very indecisive person. I need to be able to see what I want. So the lashes I went in with were the Sultry ones, guys. I wanted to do Super Glam today, and these ones are just so long and fluffy and extravagant. Like, oh my god this I look so much like there's just drama central up in here I freaking love these lashes oh my god so next thing I'm going to do is tight line my upper waterline with a black eye curl to help those like thick lash band mesh into my natural lash line so it doesn't look like it's just a band just sitting there but it kind of helps it look more natural on the eyes like not that we're really going for natural here but you know make sure to get that inner portion of the eye as well quite dark just so you can't see where the lash band ends and your natural lashes begin so for the bottom water waterline I'm thinking I might do a brown just because it's less intense or even like a like emerald green liner if I had an emerald green eyeliner I would definitely use that that would look so freaking pretty with this look but I think I might keep it smoky and do the brown. So for my bottom waterline, I want to keep it green and smoky. So I'm going to take the Enchanted Shadow first on my Morphe M326 Precision Shader Brush. And just start wiggling that product quite tightly against my bottom lash line. Then I'm going to take that kind of greeny, bluey shade um, from the Jaclyn palette called Jada. And start smoking out Enchanted with that. I'm buffing it quite low but still kind of keeping it close to Enchanted and I'm using a pencil brush to do that and then I'm going back in with a bit of Enchanted again and just kind of smoking it out a bit more and then back in with whatever's on that pencil brush that we had Jade on and just buffing out the edges so for my brow bone I do want to keep it quite Popping, so I'm going to take in light from the Jaclyn Hill palette and just pop that on the very high point of the brow. And then just taking some of Silk Cream and Pukey and just kind of buffing out the edges. I'm in light with that so it's not so harsh. My gosh, that's popping. That's so pretty. And I'm also bringing some of that on my bottom, like inner corner lash line. And just to be like a little bit extra today because I mean it's Christmas. If you can't be extra on Christmas, like when can you be? I'm going to take my Mermaid Prismatic Eyeshadow from NYX and place that on my very smack bam inner corners. Then you can just place on some bottom lash mascara to your eyes and voila! That is the eye portion of the face complete. So next before I do the lips, I think I'll finish off the face like um, blush and highlight. So I do want something a little bit rosy with this green eye, like kind of like a muted rosy tone. So with that I'm going to take my Aspen Ovard palette. <laughs> and I'm going to take the Made You Blush blush from the palette. Just stippling it towards the back part of the face. Oh my god, it's such a nice tone. Such a nice tone. And for highlight, I'm actually going to take the eyeshadow Endless Summer. It's a cute little, like, almost goldy silvery. Like, it's like a gold silver shade. And I'm going to apply that to the high points of my face. And of course, I'm going to hit that Cupid's bow. I feel like it's the most favourite part of highlighting my face is my Cupid's bow. Because it just makes your lips look so much fuller. Like, just so much bigger. Oh, it's so, so cool. It's like the easiest trick in the book and it's so effective like oh honey give it to me and I even might take some of pure soul just on the high points of my cheekbones just to be a bit extra <laughs> so for lips usually I would do a nude combination with like such an intense eye look 
but because it is Christmas and I mean like if you're not going to go full out then what are you doing really I'm going to do a red lip but I'm first of all going to line it with a eye coal just because I like this one it's super creamy and I mean like it does the job it stays on it lines my lips gives me the color all that jazz so I mean I can't complain so I'm going in with my espresso eyeliner from Makeup Geek from their full spectrum collection so because I am doing a lip gloss I didn't um I didn't overline my lips just because I feel like it's super obvious when you wear a glossy lip that you like you can see the overline so I prefer to like just keep it to my normal lip shape but I mean it's up to you boo it's up to you I'm going to go in with my Zoeva liquid lipstick in the shade matte chat there's so many different red shades that you guys can do for Christmas I mean like there is literally in I feel like there's infinite amounts I just prefer a more deeper red you can do a really beautiful crimson red lip or like a really vibrant like fire engine red if that's what you're into I just prefer like the deep sultry sexy kind of vibes and I mean like we've already got that going so I might as well continue it and like I said I'm going in with a gloss so because oh my god it's actually really nice I do prefer a gloss for like really kind of seasonal occasions I mean I prefer a gloss majority of my makeup wearing days but I guess if you want more long wearing keep it matte if you want to keep it like the vampy vibes keep it matte I want to go in with like a gloss like I said and I want to brighten it up just a smidge so I'm going to take this gorgeous cosmetics um, lip gloss in the shade pout I'm going to place that over the top and I want like the center of my lip to be like the juiciest so I'm applying like the most gloss right in the smack bam center of my lips and it's gonna lighten it up a little bit as well because I'm putting a fair bit of it on there so this concludes today's makeup look guys I really 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 hope you enjoyed it if you guys have any requests that you'd like me to do for you please let me know down below if you like this video please make sure you give it a thumbs up and also if you have anything to add any like comments or feedback make sure to leave it down below in the description bar as well <laughs> otherwise guys I hope you have an amazing Christmas I love you all so so much and I'll see you soon Mwah. bye